One risk is that when you start hearing talk of genocide from the US president and from NATO, this could be a prelude for intervention, more direct intervention in the war. But thinking even longer terms, what Putin is doing right now, he is sowing seeds of hatred between Ukrainians and Russians, which will give terrible fruits of violence uh, for, for years, for generations. Uh, so what started really as the war of just a single person, just Putin's war, could turn out to be a, a major turning point in the history of relations between Russians and Ukrainians with implications, again, for generations to come. You mentioned uh, the president's language. Um, he's obviously used the term genocide now. Mm -hmm. uh, we did hear him also talk about regime change in the past, but then that comment appeared to be walked back by the administration. But do you think yeah. in the light of what we've now learned, do you think that that is now a legitimate goal for Western governments, regime change in Russia? I think the question is whether it's a wise goal. I mean, uh, it's very dangerous to talk about regime change. The aim of the war should be to protect the freedom of Ukraine uh, and not to change Moscow. This is, this is up to the Russian people. I think that we need to think again long term about winning the peace and not just about winning the, the, the war. And winning the peace means to have a free and prosperous and democratic Ukraine. Uh, that should be the focus. Yes, no, no I appreciate and understand that. In, in the context of, of chemical weapons, of course, there is a mm -hmm. very depressing uh, legacy from the Second World War and even from the First World War in terms of their usage. A again, I think my question really is about how countries should react to um, ever more dangerous weaponry being brought onto the theatre. Well, obviously, every should be, everybody should be extremely concerned about it especially when we all have in mind nuclear weapons. And we have maybe, we are maybe in the most dangerous moment in world history since the Cuban Missile Crisis, when a nuclear war is suddenly a possibility. Um, not, still not very likely, but um, a possibility, a real possibility that, that, that we, we need to, con to consider. And that, that's, that's terrible news for the whole human race.